So I had this PCB done. It is basically a 65% keyboard with an additional five keys on the left for macros or whatnot. It supports a couple of layouts, including a split backspace. Uh, all layouts are hot swap, there's no soldering involved. This was originally meant for my uh, Commodore 64 inspired uh, keyboard. I don't know if I'm going to do that, uh, but today I want to check if uh, this PCB is working with a custom streamlined um, 3D printed case. As I said, it supports a few layouts. Um, I'm going today with the weirdest of them, but what I want to find out and the reason for this video is if with just 3D printing we can get to a, a nice sturdy uh, case that also sounds good because I 3d printed many keyboard cases like this one uh, this one is the one that I'm using on my daily driver and this is also 3d printed and they are very nice and uh, they're quite sturdy I love the flexibility of uh, 3D printing, but uh, there's always uh, that plasticky feeling and especially a not so perfect sound profile. So I bought a TPU filament, which is a flexible filament that I'm going to use to print gasket for uh, this keyboard. So this is what I'm going to print. It's a very streamlined uh, design, but it, it's just to check that all measurements of the PCB are correct. If I hide the top case, uh, you can see the uh, two gaskets that I'm going to print with uh, TPU filament. One is a buffer from the top and bottom of the case that should prevent some rattling and the other goes uh, between the PCB and the top. This is going to be printed with my own custom 3D printer. There is basically a 3D printer optimized for printing keyboards. And actually, let me show you how it looks. So here it is, the keyboard maker. It is a Core XY with four motors for X and Y and uh, it runs on clipper. It's still a little bit messy. I have to do some cable management, but it prints. And it prints really fast. The problem with big Core XY is that you get a very big gantry, so uh, it gets heavy and you cannot print very fast. But uh, this one is 250 by 400, so I can print about a uh, tanky less and the I don't I don't need much on the X axis but uh, I can print very long on the Y so the gantry is super light and so it's basically uh, as fast as a small printer but with the added benefit of a very long Y axis. It has an external uh, part cooling, a metal extruder and a, a very high flow hot end for ludicrous print speed. Uh, I can do a very good quality, I can do 40k acceleration and about 400 uh, millimeters per second speed but uh, I haven't actually pushed the, the, the printer to the limit and I have to change the motors with new LDOs that should grant a slightly better uh, performance. So yeah, let's see it printing. <laughs> Thank you. 
All the pieces are 3D printed, they came out pretty well. Uh, it took me some time to fine tune the printer for uh, TPU. My printer is optimized for speed and TPU is a uh, slow filament, so it was not easy, but uh, it came out okay. There's not much to say about the assembly, so I'll leave you to the montage. Okay, we are almost done. The top is uh, rather solid, but it has some flex. That is what we want. It's also heavier than I thought, which I'm glad. Uh, then we have the bottom half and the TPU uh, gasket in between. That um, I thought it was uh, not soft enough but uh, I think that is gonna work. Um, I made a quick empirical test, like so. If I tap here, the sound is quite good. And removing that, I can certainly feel a difference. So, switches. I had this bag of Getsu Phoenix. they are uh, clicky. I know that now everything is about linear, but I am old-fashioned and I always love my switch clicky. A little secret I kept from you? Yeah, I added my logo to the bottom and uh, this is not multi-material. I printed the two colors separate and then glued uh, the logo inside the socket and it was not easy. Uh, the tolerance was uh, very tight but it came out great. Unfortunately, I, the first layer came uh, too close to the bed, so there's a little bit of uh, scarring, but it's on the bottom, who cares? And of course, my wife is going to place the keycaps, as always. So it's finished, it's nice and sturdy, it also has quite some weight and uh, the layout as you see is quite weird, but I like it. I'm going to do a quick sound test, I'm not a huge fan of sound test because it's hard to uh, give you a real sense of how this a keyboard actually feels and sounds uh, because my microphone, because of your speakers and the environment and all. But anyway. So a few notes, the TPU uh, gaskets actually work. 
and uh, it's hard to say with uh, clicky switches I'm going to try with linears in, in a moment but the sound is very nice very deep there's no reverb there's no ping and this case outperforms many commercial plastic cases which is something I can make a quick comparison with uh, this other keyboard uh, this also has clicky switches it is 3d printed it has more or less the same design the same case design but this one is without gaskets so you can clearly hear the difference Uh, this is fine, but just a little bit hollow. This is a very deep and nice sound, despite, of course, the clicky switches. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy with the result. So regarding Gazio switches, I'm sorry to say that I don't like them that much. Uh, they are scratchy and um, the travel is in three stages. One, two, three one two three so it's not just on off but uh, the click jacket inside makes this kind of bump at the end uh, that i am not a fan of you can also see it on the stabilized key It's true that when you type quickly, uh, you don't notice that too much, but still it, it's there and yeah, um, not a fun. just found out that I don't have enough linears to cover all the keyboard I replaced just a few uh, switches but uh, it's enough to give you an idea they are nice and silent they don't have that magical talk that we are all looking for but they are very nice nonetheless it's very silent yeah I'm quite impressed conclusions uh, 3d printing with a TPU gasket is totally viable and I highly encourage you to try uh, this won't be as good as an aluminium case of course but uh, for being plastic, this is great and is, it is better than what is commercially available from Logitech, for example. If I had to do things differently, I would use a softer plastic for the case. So uh, again, ABS or PTG or ABS Plus would be probably better. And also I need to try softer a TPU but yeah um, it is already a good result and I will keep experimenting that's all for today and see you next time ciao